Joseph Farah is the founder of WorldNet Daily. According to Joseph Farah's G2 Bulletin in an article dated November 19, 2010, experts are now saying that the mystery contrail off the California coast last week was from a Chinese missile. And of all things, that the muted response thus far was a decision made by the president himself. And that U.S. Navy anti-submarine warfare sensors apparently failed again. And on top of this, experts are speculating that the Pentagon is working with the media to orchestrate a cover-up of the entire affair. Farah's report says this, that the U.S. Defense Department and North American Aerospace Defense Command have speculated publicly that the unidentified contrail of a projectile simply came from a jet airplane and posed no security threat to the United States. But, Farrow reports, several experts are now raising provocative and disturbing questions about the government's official response. Two governmental military experts with extensive experience working with missiles and computer security systems have examined the television video and conclude that the mysterious contrail originating some 30 miles off the coast near Los Angeles did not come from a jet airliner. But rather, they say, the exhaust and the billowing plume emanated from a single-source nozzle of a missile probably made in China. They further suggest the missile was fired from a submerged Chinese nuclear submarine off America's coast and point out that the timing of the alleged Chinese missile shot coincided with an increasing confrontation between the U.S. and China and was likely meant to send a message to Washington. Indeed, the federal Aviation Administration documents that there were no aircraft flying in the area at that time, the night of November the 8th, Farah's report says. A former U.S. Air Force fighter pilot and commander of an F-15 squadron and an F-16 wing, Brigadier General Jim Cash was assigned to NORAD as an assistant director of operations and is fully knowledgeable of NORAD procedures. Here is what he says. The question that still must be answered is why NORAD's muted response was simply that North America was not threatened, and later our government approved the lame excuse that the picture recorded was simply an aircraft leaving a contrail. He went on to say, There is absolutely no doubt that what was captured on video off the coast of California was a missile launch, was clearly observed by NORAD, assessed by a four-star general in minutes, and passed to the president immediately. Cash continued with this ominous warning. We must question the timing of this shot across our bow. The president was abroad being diplomatic, which means trying to placate China. And in this astounding admission, Wayne Madsen, a former naval officer who has worked at the National Security Agency and the Naval Data Automation Command, said the inability to pick up what he described as a Chinese Gen-class submarine-launched ballistic missile isn't the first time U.S. Navy anti-submarine warfare sensors have failed. Madsen, who today is an investigative journalist, said the Pentagon is working, quote, overtime with the media and on the Internet to cover up the latest debacle. However, even some reporters who cover the Pentagon full-time are beginning to question the Pentagon's version of events over the skies west of Los Angeles. Dr. Lyle J. Rapicki of Sentinel Intelligence Services, LLC, said that the contrail incident off the Los Angeles coast is fraught with peril due to the defense systems and protocols in place that should have detected the alleged submarine. Dr. Rapicki said, The decision to officially announce that North America was not threatened and all the excitement was due to an aircraft leaving a contrail is a decision that reaches beyond the four-star general level and goes directly to a decision made by the commander-in-chief.